tutorial. So, I decided that I would teach you something a little bit more simple today. So if you're looking to make something, whether it's a horror game, a simulator, or some sort of interactive game, I'll be showing you how to make an untouched or unclicked event. So let's go ahead and get into that. So I'm just going to create a new base plate just to show you guys that it's not a kit, it's all legit. I'm scripting it myself for you guys. So um, we're going to let Studio load up our base plate game and then we can get right into it. Also, sorry for any background noise in the back. My family is here, and obviously, you know what happens when your family is in the house. Alright, so now we're in here. Uh, I guess what we can do is we can do a simple uh, glass breaking sound effect or a dog barking sound effect or something. But I think I'll do glass breaking because I think that's cool. So, of course, I'm actually going to add in some, some nice uh, effort for you guys. So, we're going to make a little window real quick. Um, just to work with, so we're gonna have our window right here. There we go. I guess we'll make up 0.7. All right, so here's our window. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna keep it as part. All right, and now let's say we want it where when you click on it, this will go away and it will just be shattered on the floor. So I'm gonna make a wedge, anchor it, make sure it's the same material and everything. Um, you know, just to make it more realistic looking. So now we have this, so I'm just going to flatten that. We can duplicate it. You know, you guys get the point. You can just, just shards around the place whenever you do that. So I'm just going to group this. And I'm going to name it Glass Shards. And what you guys want to do is want to move this into replicated storage, server storage, whatever you guys want. I'm just going to move mine into replicated storage. Next, we're going to insert a click detector inside of our part and a script. Alright, so in this script, we're going to do local click detector equals script dot parent dot click detector. Alright, and then we're going to do. Uh, Alright, so now we're going to type in um, click detector dot mouse click connect function all right so now we can start our coding so uh, let's say when someone clicks on it um, you know on the thing we're gonna uh, make this these glass shards appear so we'll do a local variable here local glass shards equals game dot replicate storage dot glass shards. So what we'll do is we'll do glass shards dot parent equals game dot workspace. And just to make this even cooler looking, we can get a sound effect. So we're gonna do a glass breaking sound effect. So let's go ahead and find a nice sound effect. All right, that sounds good. Um, you can just name this glass break, whatever you guys want. Depends on what you're doing. So now I'm going to do another variable: local glass break equals game dot workspace dot glass break. So we'll do glass break play. And let's say, like you know, you want this to go away, so it'll actually look like that it's broken. So we're going to do script.parent-destroy and script.parent.click-detector-destroy. Alrighty, so let's see what happens. So I'm just going to do play here. And let's see. Alrighty. And as you can see, it goes away. And the reason why it's it's an error here, let me show you guys why it's an error. Uh, this is actually supposed to be swapped, so if I actually cut this and move it here and then we do script dot destroy, then it'll go away. You'll see. Alright, now now there shouldn't be any error in the output. Yep. So there you go. 
so once you click it, uh, it will disappear, the glass sound will play, and um, the shards will appear. Okay, hold on. I just realized... Okay, sorry about that. I thought my uh, desktop audio was off so you guys couldn't hear the sound effect. You guys can. Alright, so that's it for today's tutorial. It's pretty simple. Um, leave a comment down below if you guys want to have uh, the full script on this instead of typing it all out. But I recommend you guys typing it out just so you guys can learn about it. But if you want, um, you can just uh, ask for a pacement and I'll give it to you guys. But I, uh, before the video ends, I will explain what this does. So our local click detector, basically what this variable is, is all it does is just creates like a way to identify what a click, like what, where the click detector is and what it is. So it's this, it's in a, the parent is the part. The glass shards, um, it's inside of replicated storage and we're telling this, like the game that it's the glass shards that it's inside the replicated storage. Same thing with the glass break, but except it's in a workspace and it's a sound. So this is, um, how do I explain this? So click detector, you have that here, mouse click. That is a remote event. You don't need to put any remote event here. It's an, a remote event that's automatically like activates once you create a variable for click detectors. So I do mouse click, colon, connect, and then function. And then you can type out everything you want and like anything you want here like it doesn't have to be all this it doesn't have to be glass breaking like i said it can be like oh when you click it it changes a color oh when you click this the guy laughs and uh makes a different pose or when you click this it makes a sound effect and you die or something or when you click this a screen gui appears it can be anything guys uh if you wanted to do like a screen gui appearing you do all this uh, you can just delete that and then you can just do like oh um you can do game dot starter gui dot screen gui dot uh like dot um this or dot visible equals like true or disabled equals true or false yeah it depends you guys can put your imagination through this but yeah that's how a uh, click detector variable works but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to call it how to make a uh, glass breaking uh, window in Roblox. I'm just going to call it that. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and see you all later. Uh, like the video if you want more tutorials. I love doing them. I enjoy scripting. And um, thank you for uh, the donation. Love you, 09. Shout out to you. Thank you for the $10. My mom is feeling better because of you guys, so please set, keep sending donations, guys. Uh, it would really be appreciated. You guys have no clue how much I've been appreciating the love so is my mom. So yeah, see you guys later.